This one tool just helped me find a product that's making $47,000 per month on Etsy, and I'm about to show you exactly how to use it to uncover winning products in any niche. Everbee is hands down the most powerful Etsy research tool I've ever used, and in the next 15 minutes, I'll walk you through my complete system for finding profitable products that you can start selling tomorrow. Whether you're brand new to Etsy or you've been struggling to find products that actually sell, this tutorial will change everything. Let's dive in. What's up, Etsy entrepreneurs? Welcome back to the Print Pro Shop. My name is Harry, and today we're doing a complete deep dive into Everbee, the tool that's revolutionized how I research profitable products on Etsy. I've been using Everbee for over three years now, and it's directly responsible for helping me discover products that have generated over $2 million in revenue. Today, I'm sharing my complete step-by-step -step process, including some advanced techniques that most people don't know about. First, let me quickly explain what Everbee is and why it's a game changer for Etsy sellers. Everbee is an all-in-one Etsy research tool that gives you insider data on exact monthly revenue estimates for an Etsy listing, search volume data for Etsy keywords, competition analysis and market trends, opportunity scores, historical performance data. Think of it as having an x-ray vision into the Etsy marketplace. Instead of guessing what might sell, you can see exactly what is selling and how much money it's making. Now, Everbee does have a monthly cost, but I'm gonna show you why it pays for itself within days. They offer a free plan to get started, but the real power comes with their paid plan starting at 29 per month. Since I'm a new YouTuber, I've negotiated an exclusive deal for my viewers, as few of you as there are, and you can get your first month for $1 using my link in the description below. That's literally the cost of a cup of coffee to access professional level market research. All right, let's get you set up. I'll walk you through this quickly because it's pretty straightforward. Step one is go to everbee.io. Again, use my link below for the special pricing. Step two is to go up here to this orange button where it says sign up for free. Once you're here, you wanna click your name, your email address, and whatever password you would like to use, and then hit create account. If you're online and you have access to your dashboard, you're then going to choose a plan. For anyone starting off, you can do the free plan, uh, get you 10 keyword searches a day, um, some tag analytics, things like that. Uh, but what I would suggest is the uh, most popular growth plan, $19.99 a month. You'll see over here, uh, that's exactly what I have, the growth plan. I've had it for several years. It's helped me uh, with everything I needed. Uh, these, of course, are annual numbers. If you wanted monthly numbers, are a little bit more. But again, if you're in this for the long haul, uh, I would certainly suggest uh, the annual plan. Once you've got your plan selected, you're all paid and you're up and running, the next thing I would do is download this Access Chrome extension button. That's going to download a free Google Chrome extension that will give you access to features that others don't have access to. For instance, if I go to Etsy and type fall shirts you'll see it'll automatically generate popular uh, search related terms and it gives you volume uh, to the right so you'll see fall shirts for women has an average monthly search volume of 893 uh, and so on so as you click that uh, below is where you're going to see the magic of the google chrome extension see right here with this bug monthly sales number views conversion rate and so on that's why it's really important to have that extension that gives you access to sales uh, data. Uh, and then from here, you could then kind of sort and find out what's selling, what's not. Okay, now that we have some uh, familiarity with what the Chrome extension does, and that's downloaded, now let's look at the backend dashboard. You'll see for this example, I'm using my son's 3D toy shop uh, as the shop we're gonna use connected to this account. Uh, when you go over here to the left and hit my shop, It'll show you the back end of your shop. It'll show you all your sales, your monthly revenues, um, what listings you have. So here's Benny's listings. He's got five sales here, five sales there. It shows the price, the last 30 days, total sales. If you hit this button here, Tag Analytics, it shows the most commonly used tags. That's gonna be important later in the example. If you hit Reviews, this is where it shows you all, your, all of your reviews in one shot. And if you hit about, it tells you your about section. Again, pretty nice and useful to have, but this tool is more of a competitive tool. Uh, however, I did want to show you what that was. Over on the left, if you go to product analytics, 
this is where you can search any number of items. So let's do Halloween shirt and hit search, filter this high to low. So right now this is showing the most popular Halloween shirt sold uh, in the past 30 days. If you scroll over, you can see the trend chart. You can see total sales, total reviews, and then most importantly, probably listing age. The reason that's important is if it's an older listing and selling well, you know the algorithm picked it up. However, if it's a new listing and it's selling, that's probably a trending design. So what I would do is I would uh, try to scroll down and find that, or you can put a filter on and say total sales minimum of five, and it will find that. So let's look up top. So here's some trending designs. Uh, again, we'll get back into this later in the example, but just want to show you the back end. Uh, if you go over to Shop Analyzer, this is an important one where you can view competitors. Uh, we'll go over this and why that's important later in the example. Keyword research. So you can do Halloween shirt. It will give you uh, volume, competition, and score. Uh, and it will give you related keywords. Again, very important because you can then start to... Um, customize and filter. So let's say we want a search volume of at least 100 and we want our competitors to be no more than 200,000. Okay, and then we look at that and then this here then uh, provides examples. Again, we'll get into that later but I just want to give you a high level overview. Uh, you have profit calculators, favorites. Uh, this is the chance as you see, see these are some of the items Benny's favorited and the reason you want to do that is so that you can then go back and use this as inspiration, uh, view competitor shops and more. What I personally like about this tool in addition to everything I told you is there's a learn section so you can go in and watch product tutorials from the Everbee company. Um, again another great feature to have. If you go over here to options uh, this here tells you about your account Again, more courses, uh, more free training on the product. I would advise everyone to go through here. Okay, now that we're online, we've selected our plan, we've downloaded the extension, we have some understanding of the dashboard. Let's look how we use this to find some trending products. So let's start with any particular keyword. Let's do a uh, Halloween shirt. So we could see here, we'll go high level, we'll start here with Halloween shirt. There's a couple ways we can go about doing this. Uh, one of my favorites is to first start with what Etsy's provided. So these here are trending shirts that Etsy has said, hey, these are popular, they're selling. We could see some commonalities with the designs. We see a lot of ghosts, some Starbucks coffees, some dogs, more ghosts, more ghosts. As we're scrolling up and down here, one of the things I'm looking at is views and sales. So of course this monthly sale here, 69, that jumps out. Let's keep going down. We got 538, 2583. So we're getting some ideas here. These ones that are zeros, I probably would just disregard. All right, so let's go. Let's go up to the one we saw that was five here, this one here. So I'll start by clicking in here. And then here's where some of the magic that Etsy gives you, uh, or Everbee gives you, I'm sorry. So if you look up here, 538 sales, 12,000 views, conversion rate of 1.5, listings two years old, uh, 42,000 saves. If you go here, analyze listing, this tells you again, more specific, here's the keywords they're using in the titles. If we keep going down, here's all the numbers we already saw. Uh, but most importantly, this is probably one of my favorites, is you know the keywords and tags they're using. If you go over here to keyword score, it gives you the score of the tag. So let's filter this high to low. Uh, so when I'm making my listing, if it was something similar to this, I would be sure to include some of these tags. It must be working for this seller, so it could work for us. And then if we go back up, we look at shop details. This tells us a bit uh, about the shop, 353 sales, 59 months old, and so on. Um, so, so that's kind of number one. What I then do is I go into the actual shop. So custom T-Shop, I can see here, 
4.8, uh, 350 sales. Here's some of their items. Uh, but what I like to do is this button right here, Analyze Shop. Once I do that, I have information to all of their listings, their sales, and so on. Similar to what we said before, this is kind of how we go about filtering this. So first, I'll start by uh, listing age. So let's see what um, some of the newer ones are. So let's go. Um, oh, it's not letting us filter that. So let's go back to that. But let's go revenue high to low the last 30 days. So we can see these are their most recent popular selling shirts. We already did this one, so let's keep going down. Wifey and hubby. Okay. Let's say this one here. This looks interesting. So 59 sales, $884. It's trending up 400% the last 30 days. Over its course of its life, it's had a ton of sales. So let's look at this. View on Etsy. And then again, we can go down, see the different colors it's offered in. We could see it in gray and white. This is the type of shirt they're using. Uh, they have in sweatshirts, tank tops, and t-shirts. Uh, but from here again, what this is telling us is keywords they're focusing on. If we hit analyze listing, uh, shows us sales information. And then if we go down, this shows us the tags that they're using and the scores. So for this one, again, they're using this spooky doodle shirt. So what that's telling me is this spooky doodle shirt is a popular trending keyword for Halloween type of list. Okay, now on to our second favorite method for keyword research, and that is the keyword research tool. We'll start by clicking this keyword research button, and here we could type anything. So I started by saying baseball mom and hit search, and it said at a high level, the keyword score is a 10, 162,000 competitors, and it's searched 1,167 times. What I like to do from here is then start to play around with the filters. So first, let's go high to low with keyword score, and you'll be able to find uh, keywords or phrases that you maybe you didn't think of when you were first deciding to make your baseball mom shirt. So here's a good one. Custom baseball mom sweatshirt. That's searched 312 times and it only has six competitors uh, with a similar listing. So that would be one of the first shirts I would make. Let's keep going down the list. Retro baseball mom, uh, baseball hoodie. Here we go. Team baseball mom. Searched 755 times and only has 36 competitors. These are outrageous. These type of shirts or listings, you could just put about any design up and it would be uh, list number one on Etsy, uh, first page. Other things I like to do here is the filter. So I always wanna see search volume of let's say at least 50, and I wanna see competitors of no more than 100,000. Okay, it will automatically update. And then you'll see here, here's other phrases, again, maybe we didn't think about. Baseball mom embroidered. Um, a lot of low volume here, but then if we go and we search high to low, baseball mom shirt bleached, baseball mom shirt bleach. So again, this is just a tool that uh, helps us find different uh, phrases that we may not have thought of. Okay, we went over a lot of the features for Everbee and why it's such a useful tool. Now let's do a real world example. So in the previous examples, I was using baseball mom as a search term, so let's do that. Baseball mom shirt. Let's see, 786 searches, so let's start there. And this is how I would go about creating my new designs. So first and foremost, let's go down, see what's selling, what's not. Okay, there's some good sellers. All right, so this here is where I would first go product analytics. This is gonna show us all of the items that were just on that front page, and we can sort high to low. So right now, uh, custom uh, Comfort Colors Baseball Mom shirt selling. We can look at this. It has $5,000 sold last month, 170 sales, five months old, which is great. Here's another listing, two months old. So these are the uh, listings I would personally play preference to. 
Uh, let's use this one that's two months old. $1,000 last month. So I would click this. I would go view on Etsy. I could see a little bit more about the shirt. I could see what colors it's available in. I could see uh, analyze listing, 70 sales, $1,000. Um, clothing, visibility score last month, um, what competitive tags are using. So again, these are the top tags, ball game, ballpark, peanuts, things you wouldn't think of when you're making your listing, but this here is helping this shirt uh, show up as number one on a base model mom listing. So I would then screenshot this, use this as inspiration. I would also uh, go back to the dashboard, continue looking. Um, so this here would give us a good idea of different shirts, what's selling. If you hit this tag analytics button, it's going to show you the most popular tags used. So um, some of these wouldn't apply, like SVGs, uh, but baseball spirit wear, uh, baseball game day, game day baseball. These are all tags I would be including in my listing. And then the last thing I would do is I would hit this ever be database. So this is showing all of the listings uh, that would come up for Baseball Mom, not just that front page. So here we got custom team name embroidered that may not apply to us. Uh, I would look at this one again. This was uh, the first page. So let's go here. $5,000 last month, a 3% conversion rate, which is really good. Uh, and then let's look at the tags. So nothing special with the tags, but um, it, again, it gives us an idea. I would specifically, I would hit view on Etsy. And then I would look here, comfort colors. I would look at the colors it's available in, front and back. Looks like it's a custom design uh, for the kids. Colors, here's the listing. So that's a real world example of how I use this tool every day. This kind of research used to take me hours using free tools and guesswork. With Everbee, I just found a winning product in under five minutes. That's exactly why I invested in the tool and why I'm sharing that special $1 deal with you. Okay, now it's time to take action. Data without action is worthless. Here's exactly what to do after you find opportunities in Everbee. Your action plan. Save promising products using Everbee's favorite feature. Remember, create three to five designs for your best opportunity, research pricing using Everbee's competitor data, optimize your SEO using the recommended keywords, launch and track performance.